Alright, welcome back guys. Let's continue our game. Uh, so last time we added the place. Alright, let me just get a start first. I think last time we were at uh, the construction building, uh, I mean the tall building, we're gonna place the trans receiver. Yeah, so we're gonna face a lot of like uh, zergs. I wonder how we're gonna avoid them though. It's gonna be really difficult though, because there's a lot of them. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go over there. Because that looks like the only spot I can actually jump over, right? Because otherwise I have a fence over there. I guess we can just uh, run for it, I guess. They cannot jump over. Nice. Oh, there's some more. Uh, so we're gonna suppose. So we're supposed to run over there. Run for it! 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 Oh god. Ooh. That was scary though. Like all those things. Where are those? They, they do look like a potato. Like a... Potatoes with legs and eyeball. Where did they even came from? Is there more over here? Alright, it might be. It might be. Alright, let's go for it. I think it's pretty safe over here. Looks like it. Look this way, but I think I should have better. Oh wait. So is this one? Is another one that? Um, I think I need to open the gate so they can come out. I, need, I think I need to roll the the barrel, right? I walk on this. Uh... All right. So, what? How does supposed to do this? <laughs> Go over there. Take a look. If there's something else, I can use it. Lure them. So they become really hype about it. You're responsible for waste management. So I guess maybe those zergs are some kind of mutation from the waste. It's trash from the upper levels overload the slums and they try to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. Uh, so those might be some kind of bacteria. After the humans have disappeared, that bacteria mutated growing, eating away from the trash. And now we have zergs. Uh, okay. But they're not potatoes. <laughs> We learned. They're not potato. They're not mutated potatoes. So we gotta actually go open the gate. Roll for it. One of them is actually... Oh, they actually all jumped over. Perfect. I want to keep them here. So I have plenty of time to roll the barrel. Okay. 
I thought I'm, I'm gonna fail. Wait, oh, hold on, got it, got it. I got it. Oh, there's more. Alright, so, go for it. Okay, we're in a good situation now. We need to go up more. Okay, I think I need to go up to there, right? Is there more of the Zerks here? They're somehow really scary though. I, think, I don't think there's any more here. I think we somehow need to use the elevator to go up there. It looks like that way. We just don't have any Zerks show up here, it'll be really uh, weird and scary. Alright, that's uh, oh my god. Okay, roll for it, roll for it, roll for it, roll for it, roll for it. Potato, potatoes, potato bacteria. Okay, where do I jump? Looks like a door is not going to be able to open. Another level up there, over the wall there. Now that's convenient. We can just take the bucket back. Yes. Look, the view is beautiful. The city was meant to be a shelter. Stars, but there are only lights marking the, the ceiling of the city. We can build this shell to protect themselves from outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. It's a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. If you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. I promise we won't just go to the outside, it was to open the city. Right. Still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others may. Certain now that this is my purpose, I have to open the city. Okay. Find Momo that's connected to the transmitter, and we should be able to get help. Alright, sounds like quest. Go! Yeah, big zipline. I'm glad that actually I don't need to jump all the way back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's 
Slums Part 2. here. And uh, I, don't, I don't see a place I can leave. Nope. Oh. Hello, you know, Sarah. If you are reading this, that means you are still alive. Excellent. Come to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've got a window with the code to open it. Uh, it's quite simple. It's... Uh, what? That's really simple code? <laughs> Can someone translate it? right over here right? no oh, actually over another side over there probably
that that's what I'm saying. Let's go check that. Don't help me, but you think I have a I can sneak in. I can help you to figure out what's going on. There's the hole. Look and show it to Seamus. A lot of information that will hopefully act as a electro shock. I'm going back to the bar, try to establish a relationship with the other side. Okay, others. Okay. Oh, cool. Go. Nope. What are you doing here? I told you getting through the sewer is a suicide mission. Leave me be. It's a picture. We got a co. We need the actual co. Where's the co? It looks like I'm just destroying this guy's apartment. <laughs> Wait, there's a coat, I think. Time will tell. Oh, okay, it's not. Must be a coat somewhere. Or maybe we already have the coat. Digital before, how did I miss it? Never noticed, really? It's right behind the painting. No idea. What the fesco could be. Okay, so I think I need looking for a clue of the fesco. Maybe in this room? Push this over more. Must be something, though. Somewhere. 
open the door to let Momo in, maybe he can help. Maybe talk, let me go outside and talk to Momo. Then. Oh wait, I can't go outside anymore? So Momo blocked it. So we need to figure out the code here. Let me see if anything I have contains any so-called code. Nope, I don't. So I guess we can just uh, maybe uh, try something. Good. One, two, three, four. No. Okay, it must be something. What could the code be? So, thing here on the char. Wait a second. Okay, it's just some uh, electrical diagram. Time will tell. Oh, wait, time will tell? Is that mean the clock? Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a four o'clock. Four of them. Two, five, one, one. Oh, okay, wait, 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 let me try that. That's actually pretty interesting. Two, five, one, one. Two, five, one, one. Dang, it worked! That's pretty cool. That's a dead potato. Of course, that must be for the Zerk weapon. Pup was uh, always so secretive with his work. Probably made weapon was working in theory, but I needed life task and he went outside the slums and ne never come back. Uh, robots in New Zealand and Zerka are officially no longer under control. They're now in battle. So, be looking for the weapon. React to intense light. Okay, I haven't found any interesting thing yet. Pretty sure it should be in this room somewhere. I'm missing something. Wait, wait, hold on. It's empty. Anything in the box? No, oh, it's empty box. something there Hold on. Yeah, hold on talk to this guy yep I did Tracker. Tracker. I uh, where I was maybe he was it to find where I miss so much Right, my papa definitely took one with a pair of the trackers and gave him someone it's a slump that should be help. I'm going to open the door for you. Perfect. Let's go. Alright, so 
somebody you can repair, who would be able to repair? The geek? Or wait, Momo. Momo, he's uh he repaired the trans trans receiver, right? So he might be able to fix that. Let's, let's go looking for Momo. He's in the bar, right? so Someone in the village can help you repair it. Did you ask at the bar? Let me ask at Barton. If he knows something. You know, the other guy who can fix this stuff like this is a very talent, it's just a little well. You see, his name is an idiot. Uh, his office is just a laptop here near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Interesting. Near Grandma, and the left over here. Looks like there are all signs all over his door. What? Nope, not this one. Signs all over the this guy. Oh yeah, the geek, right? The geek upstairs. Anyone with a little gadget, may I? I'm um, uh, trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something. Definitely don't feel right. I'm shivering. Like this, I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your blanket. I think I might have a blanket in front of the grandma, right? Did you find this? It's amazing. Oh, perfect. Let me try on. Really? That's a blanket? Tremors, I'm able to work again. But you're cold. <laughs> you're a robot. How can you be cold? Definitely fix your tracker. Right? Just gotta give a deal of a thing. Voila. Perfect. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Let's go looking for uh, Samus. This, this guy just keep sleeping. Ew. Let's go, let's go. Try to find you dead. Get a ping, okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. Let's follow the track, maybe we'll uh, find where we're going. Alright, lead the way. Hopefully you don't get eaten, or I don't get eaten. My Zerks. Are we supposed to go like outside the, to the sewer or something? Oh, girl, 
in the dark, you don't need to sell anything. Why he's like acting sneaky? No, he's just looking over. Is this, is this the path to sewer? Must be it. He really left the slope. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Do this. All right, let's open up. Hopefully there's no Zergs right behind him. <laughs> Wait, why? I'm going, you're not going. It's not fair. Oh, you're coming too? Okay, perfect. Well, here it has a really intense light here, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have a Zerk. Hopefully. Let me just look around. Go anywhere. <laughs> 